This video is for days 8 and 9 of the Short Read Sequencing Analysis Workshop. This is video 7, Isoform Level Differential Expression Analysis with Ball Gown. The goal of this video are to cover the basic operations of Ball Gown for identifying significantly differentially expressed transcripts, also to suggest options for what to do with the Ball Gown output. Ballgown is an R package that was specifically designed to perform statistical comparisons between transcript abundances calculated by string type. Its underlying model uses a general linear model approach, similar to Lima. Unlike DEC2, Ballgown does not perform Bayes' shrinkage in its variance estimates or when calculating log bulk changes. Contains built in visualization routines for displaying transcript structure and abundance. Here you can see, for a given gene, the three detected isoforms with the color scale indicating relative abundance between two different experimental conditions. As you can see, isoforms A and B increase in abundance between the two conditions, while isoform C decreases in abundance. So, how does one run ball gown? First, we must execute R, either at the command line or using RStudio. All subsequent commands are run in the R environment. Next, we must load in a list of strings that are full paths to the directories containing the ctab files generated by string, string type. There should be one sample per directory. Here we've loaded in a text file containing the list of paths, which we assign to the variable sample. Now all we have to do is call the ball gown function with this list of directory paths as an input and specify the mesh parameter which indicates what to calculate. The output of the function is what's called a gown object which we are assigning to the variable bg. Here all indicates that the ball gown function will populate all the components of the gown object. The function processes the linking tables intron data, exon data, and transcript data. The gown object just generated contains three linked components, the expression component, the structure component, and the indexes component, each of which contains multiple data tables. The expression component contains all the expression data for the genomic features, exons, introns, and transcripts. The structure component contains all the genomic coordinates of these features and their relationship to one another. The indexes component contains lookup tables for finding correspondence between different types of structures. Furthermore, the pdata table contains experimental information connecting phenotype to genomic measurement. In order to access these three components of the gown object, the ball gown package has three functions which take, take the gown object as an input. For each function, you can specify what unit of measure you'd like to display using the mesh parameter. The next step is to create your P data table. This table should contain all of the experimental conditions relevant to your samples. This table will have to be manually constructed. This is analogous to the conditions table that was used in the DEC2 video. Each row of the pdata table is a sample and each column is some experimental feature, including sample identifiers or treatment condition. This table must be in the form of an R data frame. The order of the rows of your pdata table should correspond to the order of the samples in your gown object. You can retrieve these names using the sample names function. For a simple treatment versus control experiment with, say, 12 samples, as we had above, six replicates per condition, we can create a P data table that has a single experimental conditions column with two levels. Here you can see how to create such a table where the conditions column has been named group. At this point, we have loaded in our count data and provided our experimental metadata in the pdata table. We can now use some of the built-in ball gown routines for visualizing our transcripts. The two main ones are plot transcripts and plot means. 
Plot Transcripts allows you to visualize the various transcripts for a given gene for one or more samples. Plot Means allows you to visualize the mean abundance of the various transcripts between different groups for a given gene. Here we see an example of Plot Means after having first loaded the ggplot2 library. In calling plot means, you must specify your gene name, gown object, and column name corresponding to the conditions you're comparing. The results of this call you can see at right. This gene has five isoforms, of which the first and third isoform demonstrate a clear change in the abundance between condition 0 and condition 3. Finally, we can now perform statistical testing to identify differentially expressed transcripts. The statistical testing routine is STAT test. It performs a parametric F test of the linear model by default. Here we provide our gown object, feature name, type of measurement to use, and what comparison to make as inputs into STAT test. Note that Unlike our use of DEseq2, here we're using the FPKM normalization. One can then extract significant results for a specified significance level using the subset function. Here, the first column represents the type of feature and second column represents the ball gown assigned ID. In order to determine what genes these transcripts are associated with, one can use the contents of the indexes component of the gown object, namely the T2G table, which stands for transcript to gene. This table is organized by transcript ID. Finally, if you'd like to look up the log full changes for these significant transcripts, the information is stored in the XPER component of the gown object and can similarly be looked up using the transcript ID. At this point, one can export these significant results to a .csv file for further analysis outside of the R environment, say if you were to be doing a Go enrichment analysis. Alternatively, this ball gown object or the data frame of significant results can be saved as an R data file and used directly for visualization or other types of analysis using the myriad R-based analysis libraries available from the Bioconductor community. For further information on Balkan, please see some of the following references.